Hello YouTube, in this video I just want to talk a bit about the, um, the new buttons that came in this uh, 2017 Aprilia RSV4 and go through the um, menu in the, in, the new, in the new dashboard so I'm going to go through the settings and show you what you can do in this uh, in this bike in the menu so here you have uh, new buttons here for this model for this 2017 you have um, what's new in this one it's the pit button the joystick here to go through the settings in the menu and you have this button here that either can be used for cruise control or to anti-wheel you have to uh, decide what you want to this button to do on the menu but we go there in a while so here you have the um, buttons for the traction control here's the horn uh, turn signals uh, about the turn signals this year they are kind of smart if you are standing still they will work forever if you turn it if you turn them on uh, if you're moving they will work for 40 seconds or during uh, f 500 meters the one that reaches first then the turn signal signals will shut down this button here I don't know if you can see this is for the MPV4 uh, application in the RR version it's not uh, standard if you want you have to buy in your deal at your at your dealer um, and then you have the button for the the lights here in this side it's the same as previous years you have the kill switch and then you have the start button which is the one that will uh, change the maps in the bike so here we are going i'm going to show you the the new dash it's the tft dash and i'm going to go um through the settings here at the um, uh, menu so here in the main menu you have the road menu let's call it like this and you have the race menu if you press the joystick to the right then you have this um, this um, uh, other function that's call it the road uh, road menu uh, or road dash uh, whatever then if you if you press the joystick to the left it comes to the road uh, road dash so um, if you if you press the now the the joystick to the right you can go through the settings to the um, functionalities here at the trip a you have the, your trip you, then you have time you have max speed you have average speed fuel consumption uh, and your odometer if you press it you have trip b and it's all over again so i will leave it in trip a then you have abs three levels of ABS as you go higher in the number it gets more intrusive I will leave it in two then you have anti wheelie the same thing the same thing with anti wheelie if you go a higher in number the more intrusive I will leave it in two you have a prelia launch control here three levels also in the menu you have a prelia settings here you can do the same as we just did in the main menu plus the Aprilia quick shift down you can switch it off if you want but I will leave it on because it's so nice to have uh, this function you know when you have to when you need to down shift and you don't need to use the clutch so here you have this other configuration ABS you can turn it off the pit limiter you can uh, uh, when on you can select this uh, the speed that is going to be your max speed when you press the pit lane uh, button uh, and it only works in uh, first gear so here you can have the calibration calibration this will be for uh, the Aprilia traction control in case you start using tires that are not recommended for this bike uh, this here LH switch 
it's the button here in the left that I told you that either it can be used for cruise control or for anti-wheeling if you decide to change you come here and you change for a pre wheelie control and then on the fly you can use this button to go down the levels of the anti-wheelie or to switch switch it off okay I will leave it there anti-wheelie and this is for the application through here you can pair your phone with the, the bike so you can use the VPNP V4NP application so here exit lap timer you can check your lap times in case you're using it then you have the shift light it's still selected to 10,000 rpm because I'm in the braking period of the motorcycle here in the configuration you can change you set your clock units uh, speed fuel consumption temperature pressure whatever language you can select whatever you want service here you can change the user code and that's it so exit and you go exit here so as i switch it uh, the 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 button to be used with the april wheelie control now if i use that button i can change the levels of the april wheelie control if you see and right this it's off but I will leave it in two and that's it so I'm just going to start it so you can listen to the stock exhaust yes I still have the bike pretty much stock uh, when I do some modes I'll make a video for you